Hello, biology students. Today we're going to be talking about water structure and hydrogen bonding. We are in a new topic, topic three. Let's jump in. Many of you guys are going to know some of this stuff, but make sure you keep an open mind and learn the details. So uh, here's our friend, the water molecule. Oh my goodness. Do we know what the H stands for? Do we know what the O stands for? Hmm. Let's state the chemical formula. We know it's H2O. Why do we have a two here? How many hydrogens are there? Two. How many oxygens are there? One. Remember, there's an invisible run one right here. All right, so we call water H2O. Just know that each of those letters are an atom. All right, so we have two atoms of hydrogen for every one atom of oxygen. And together, the three of them make a molecule, right? Because a molecule is multiple atoms bonded in a chemical bond together. Let's learn about the details, but first, what's this shape remind you of? What character? It should look like Mickey Mouse. So if you ever forget what's what, just remember that the hydrogens are the mouse's ears and the big face is oxygen for the nose, right? Perfect. Okay, so make sure you're going to get it right because if you accidentally put them backwards, it's incorrect on a future quiz or test. Okie dokie. Let's learn that we can also draw it this way. And really, we should draw it this way in our notes if we haven't yet. And please label that the little lines that connect the two hydrogens to the oxygen, they're called a covalent bond. Let's learn what a covalent bond is. The bonds between a single water molecule are covalent bonds, which means the electrons, okay, the negatives within a atom are actually being shared. They're being shared between the hydrogen and the oxygen. All right. But notice that there seems to be a lot more negatives around the oxygens or the hydrogens, just in general. Which ones seem to be more negative, the oxygens or the hydrogens? I see a way lot more negatives near the oxygen. Huh. Hmm. But yeah, they're trying to share them. Maybe they're not sharing them so evenly, but they're trying to share them. Okay? And because that oxygen seems to be pulling them and they're not sharing them very evenly, okay, it's going to make oxygen a little bit more negative. So when we draw water, we actually want to put a negative sign near oxygen. Man, oxygen, such a bully. And then hydrogen is going to have a little plus sign on it because it has less electrons, less negatives near it, which makes it more positive, right? So oxygen is pulling on those electrons. Even though they're being shared, it's tugging on them, right? We'll practice this in class. And so we call water a polar molecule, okay? Water is a polar molecule. And no, not polar bear, right? We mean chemistry polar, which is a different thing. So let's define it, right? It's actually what we were talking about before. A polar molecule is a molecule where it has two charges. Opposite ends have opposite electrical charges. Does water molecule seem to be that way? Yeah, where the hydrogen is positive on one end and the other end is negative. Yeah, and to help us remember, here's some memory tools that I highly recommend you write down. Hydrogens are happy, even though their big brother bully is stealing those electrons. Well, look at them stealing that toy, right? But even still, hydrogens are trying to be happy, okay? So opposite ends have opposite charges. One end is positive, one end is negative. Hmm. So because of this, this makes water pretty cool. Water has a lot of cool things that it's able to do because it has these two ends with opposite charges. Let's learn a little bit more. So because of this polar or polarity, of water, it gives it special properties. One of those special properties is water can attract other water molecules. Whoa. How does it do that? Well, the positive end of one water molecule, the happy hydrogen, remember, will attract to the negative end of another one, the oxygen. Yeah? So the positives are attracting to negatives. And because of that, they kind of associate near each other. They're like being buddies. Weird. We call this actually a hydrogen bond, which is a new and tough vocab word. So our two vocab words that are really tough today are polar and hydrogen bond. Make sure they're highlighted in your notes. 
hydrogen bond is a weak attraction between the partially positive hydrogen of one water molecule and the partially negative oxygen of another. So it's the attraction between the partially positive hydrogen here and the partially negative oxygen here. We call this association a hydrogen bond, an H bond. Same thing over here. And guess what? Really, there'd be tons of water molecules doing this everywhere. And guess what? That's it for today. Be ready to learn more about what cool things water can do because of these really cool things that make it polar and the fact that it makes these hydrogen bonds.